Hello everyone, welcome to this product animation series. Today I'm going to show you how to make a fluid simulation with dropping ice on the bottle. I have made a demo render of the shots we have so far in EV on low resolution and now we can preview them. So this is what we have right now. So our scenes we have made so far are finishing on the frame 241 and we need to get two more drums for the next scene. So we will finish on frame 280. So our next animation has to be around 39 frames. Let's get started. Open the previous scene where we did the fluid simulation and hide the domain from the fluid simulation. Create new collection and add the bottle. Scale the bottle and go to layout. Set the camera location back to 0, 1 x axis. Now we can preview how the ice is falling and how it will hit our bottle. Select the ice and move it to the right, so the ice is falling on the center of the bottle. Don't forget to go always to the first frame when you want to change the position of the ice and the slide. Select the bottle and go to physics and choose rigid body. Change active to passive. Also, turn the animated on. Now when you go to first frame and press play you can see that the ice is interacting with the bottle. I want to make the bottle go forward and hit the ice from the back. So I stop the preview and look for perfect timing when the bottle should hit the ice. Once I find a good frame I move the bottle a little bit forward so it finishes in front of the ice and the water. Once I find the sweet spot I go back in the timeline by 39 frames. Remember to keep it 39 frames because this is what we are looking for. Add the keyframe and select location and rotation. Move the keyframe to our sweet spot, which is 120 frames. Then move the bottle backwards. Now you can preview the animation. You can adjust it to your liking. If you want the bottle to move faster, move it more to the back. Now go to physics and select fluid simulation. The type select effector. In the settings check planar. Alt H to unhide the domain. Go to cache and select free all. Change the resolution to 45. Now go to front view and move the domain and the flow upwards. You can scale the flow to get more water. Also, to make the water drop faster, go to initial velocity and put value on Z-12. Change the start frame to 50 and end frame to 120. Remember to go always to the first frame before you click bake, otherwise the ice will not interact with the water. Now you can select the bottle and rotate it 180 degrees. Now you can select the domain, free all and go to resolution and make it 120. Go to border collisions and turn them all off. Ok, I have already baked the simulation, but I have noticed that in the front of the bottle there is too much water. So what we have to do now, we have to select the last frame and move it a little bit forward, so the water stays behind the bottle. As you know guys, simulations are sometimes a little bit tricky, so you will probably have to bake the simulation a couple times to get the best shot, because they are simply unpredictable. Now everything should be fine and we can bake the simulation. Thank you. 
Well done! It's working exactly how we want it. Now in the left window you can turn on the cycles to preview the materials and lighting. Now select the camera and unanimate it. On the frame 61 move it closer to the bottle. And on the frame 120 move it further. Remember that I have the auto keyframe on so I don't have to add the keyframes manually. Ok, you can select the liquid and select shade smooth. Go to shading and apply texture for the bottle. In the left window turn on cycles preview. Select the front light and position it to the center. Change the power to 1000. Select the back light and change the power to 15000. Now place the back light in the center behind bottle. You can scale the radius of the light. Go to world settings and increase the strength. Select the front light and increase the power. Alright guys, that's it for this part. Congrats to everyone that you made it so far. And see you in the next part. Bye bye.